Okay, this is Paul and you are welcome once again to my YouTube channel where I show you how to do 3D modeling and other stuff. So today I'll be teaching you how you can change your SolidWorks parts file into a PDF and more importantly into a high definition picture into a high definition picture because sometimes you save SOLIDWORKS files as a picture and it is very very blurry when you zoom out but I want to show you a way you can save them such that it will not it will not be blurry when you zoom out so if you have a model like this you can just open it up and then we can start but if you don't know how to do something like this if you don't know the basics of SOLIDWORKS um, you can uh, you can look through my channel and they have other basic videos that you can check out okay so let's go to file sorry and do this okay save. go to file then save us <coughs> so the first thing i'm going to do is save this let me open enter this new folder tests and save it there so the first thing I'm going to do is save it as a PDF. So you want to save a SOLIDWORKS as a PDF is possible. You just look through and you should see PDF format here. You can also change it to a PSD format for Photoshopping, but I've not really used that before. So let's just click the PDF and let me do tests. Sorry. Tests. Okay. Sorry. Oh my bad. I messed up there too. So save us sorry so let me go to test test okay click away go to pdf so test dot sorry why do i keep making mistake pdf not psd pdf test dot pdf and then you save and like that your model is saved as a pdf so after this i will open the model i open the folder to show you how it should look like so also i'm going to show you how to save it as a high definition picture but before that let me save it as a normal picture so that you can tell you can see the difference okay so let me open go to the new folder again so let me save it you can save it as a png mm, okay but because of a software i use i like saving, saving it as pdf so go to dot jpg okay and then options so let me i usually save it in the high definition already but let me just change that setting let me just change that setting to the lowest so this dpi here changes everything this dpi here changes how quality the quality of the image the dpi stands from i think um, I've forgotten something per image. Uh, um, dot sorry, the, the DPI stands for dot pixel per image. I mean dot pixel per inch. Sorry, I don't know. I keep getting it mixed, mixed up, but I think dot pixel per inch. So it shows how many pixels you need for every inch. I may I may be wrong again. So let's choose the lowest, which is fifty, which is normally what it is. Because normally when you come here it is on screen capture it is on screen capture which restricts you on you changing the dpi and normally the, the default dpi is very low so let's go to okay okay and let's change it to test oh i don't know why i keep messing up today sorry let's try again Let's make sure it's on um, test and it should be on D JPG. Okay, oh, cool. Okay, let's override this. Override this because I'm not sure. Okay, let's create options. Let's change it to 50 DPI. Okay, sorry, then 50 DPI. And let's change to test one so test or let's say if test 50 dpi let's see how the 50 dpi look okay, save us save 
okay and then let's save it as a high definition picture so if you want to see you know how to use it as a high definition picture then this is the part that you should pay attention to so go to save us <coughs> then let's go to test 600 dpi because <coughs> sorry that's the dpi i will be using 600 then go to put in this folder so go to jpg then options so if you want to save it as a high definition picture usually the default is to put it on the screen capture and if it's on screen capture you can see here that, here that the dpi is grayed out so you can't change the value if i double click if i click it uh, the value cannot change so in order for you to change it you have to first click on the print capture and change this and increase the value so usually i will advise you to use 300 because the, the higher dpi you use the slower it takes and you realize that the first picture we received was quite fast so let's use 600 here but i will advise you to use 300 but let's use 600 for now and then you see what they wrote using higher dpi settings will negatively impact performance okay so let's look at it you realize that this time around when i save it it will take a bit longer okay so click on save everything is okay cool all right so you are seeing that it is taking a little bit longer than it took for the 50 dpi cool so now our files are saved as pdf as a low definition picture and as a high definition picture so let's open it and see how they look like okay so okay i save them here test view large so let's open the pdf first and see how let me delete this file i didn't mean to save it and delete this one too i didn't mean to save it okay so let's open the pdf and if you have a pdf for a pdf software it should come like this so you can print it from your laptop so this is the pdf format very cool in case you want a pdf version you don't want to save it as a picture before converting it to pdf you can save it right as a pdf and this is how it looks now let's go to saving it as a picture so you can see these two pictures here the test 50 dpi and the test 600 dpi so let's open the test 50 dpi okay okay so you can see let's zoom out so when you zoom out you can see as you zoom out it becomes very blurry it becomes very blurry not so nice so if you want to print a big banner with a model like this when you print it big it will become very blurry which is not so nice but let's look at the other picture so just for you to see you can see this is the 600 dpi so this is the 50 dpi you can see when you zoom out very blurry now the 600 dpi when you zoom out it still looks so cool you can move it around a bit and see it still looks very 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 cool although i've zoomed out it's still very very high definition picture it's still a high definition picture but when you look at the 50 dpi the definition is very very low and blurry so folks that is how to save a solid works a solid works model as a pdf and also as a high definition clear picture thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions any comments any model you want me to do for you anything you want me to teach you can put it in the comment section you can like the video subscribe share it to others to watch and also learn thank you see you next time